turn up nice again, mother... F it's uh, Friday, the 6th of April, 2018, and you're watching CopTalk.tv. Hooray! Hey, how's it going, guys? You alright? Yeah? Hey, it's fucking hot in here, guys, honestly. Oh, fucking hell, I'm sweating like a paedophile in a nursery, so, I, you know what I mean? Just because I'm obese, it don't mean that's why I'm sweating, you know what I'm saying? It's just fucking hot. Alright, calm down, chill you, bro. Um... Hey, I went to opticians yesterday. I've got to have glasses, guys. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, sure, silly cunt. You've got some on your head already, but they're a prop. They're a prop. They're part of my disguise, there, you see. Don't need glasses at all, right? But I do now. I've been saying that for years in all my videos, yeah? You know, I don't need glasses, guys. All right, and all that. Yeah, no, I need them now. I'm going down there this afternoon to sort it out. I had an eye test, eye test yesterday. She was like that. Oof. Hey, hey, get this, guys. Yeah, I'm fucking telling you a true story right now, right? She's got this thing in front of me, right? These fucking things that you go like. She says, put your chin on it. I said, which one? Didn't laugh or anything. She's Spanish, so she didn't understand what I was on about. Um, so puts my chin on thing. Well, that one, biggest one, right? And um, she goes, and now, you know, read the thing on the thing. And now, and she's like putting these things on. And she's leant right in front of me like that. And she has a fucking, what is it? You know, like a low cut top on, right? Really loose and baggy, you know what I'm saying? A bit like my clothing, Right? And it, you could see right down the boob tube and all that. And yeah, I reckon you could have had a good nanda, but I did, did a gander, gander. I reckon you could have had a good gander, but you know what? I didn't dare fucking look. Because I was like, she was like poking these things in my eyes, you know, like looking and that, staring in. And I thought, and I thought to myself, right? I thought, if I look down now, will she know? And I thought, will she know? She's looking at me fucking eyeballs, you know what I mean? So I was like that all the time. Like, I was like, fucking hell, I really want to look down, but I can't, you know what I'm saying? Oh... Hey, I'm in a good mood. Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Um, so, guys, listen, this is the situation. I made two videos for you yesterday for CopTalk.tv. Hooray. I made two videos for you yesterday, right? But I did them in my other office, right? You know my writing room in the study, right? The old office, Rob's old bedroom, right? Uh, did them in there. It's the study now, all right? And um, it didn't, they didn't sound very good. The audio was a bit naff. It was worse than this. Honestly, it was like fucking really loud. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not putting them out. Fuck that shit. So I left it. All right. Um, so that's why I'm doing videos today. Because obviously I wanted to do a vid yesterday uh, about the Man City game. But, right, Rob's here on holiday. My son, you know what I'm saying? And my cousin's been here as well. And she's just this second left for the airport. Literally just now. Hence, video. Get me drift? Because it's a bit difficult, you know, when you've got people visiting and that, like, you can't go into a room, can you? you go, all right, motherfuckers, and all, you know what I'm saying, guys? So you're going to play, play, anyway, should we start actually talking about some football, yeah? So, what did you think of that Man City game, then? I'd like to know your individual player ratings, one to ten. Thank you, that's the end of the video. All right, no, I'm not, I'm only joking. Um, do you know what, guys? If you're on the members' website, you know, if you support me, like, I'm one of the ultimate support supporters, right? If you're on Cop Talk members' website. Which you get free DKB.TV with anyway. Um, I said I, I posted a, um, a topic in the in the Manchester City forum. You know, we create a match forum for every game Liverpool play, in. and in that forum, I think it was titled "Disrespectful." And the night previous to the Man City Liverpool Man City game, right? The um, I was listening to the wireless. You know, it's radio for you kids. I was listening to the radio. What's a fucking radio? They probably don't even know what a radio is. Um, I was listening to it radio, to it wireless, right? And there was three guys on radio talking about Liverpool, Man City, right? Not one of them said Liverpool had a fucking chance. Not one of them. We were going to get battered. That's what they said, we were going to get battered. Now, going into that game, right, right, hang on, I'll stop you right there, right? Or I'll stop myself, should I say. Previously, in the other encounters in the Premier League, I've not batted a fucking eyelid, right, when, when, when coming up against them. Despite them being, you know, the top of the league and the best team in the world ever and all that shit. We weren't fucking... Up. Anyway, right? It's not bothered me. I'm like, I should fucking bring it on. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've got to be honest, squeaky bum and all that, you know, defensively when we play them, you know, and we've got we've seen advantages, haven't we? And then they've been cancelled out. We know all that. You don't need fucking educating about that, do you? But going into this game, I started to feel a little bit less confident than normal. And do you know why? Because I let the media get in my head. I let the media get in my head. I, I fucking did, guys. I started listening to them all going, you know, oh no, the Liverpool are going to get annihilated. They're going to get battered. Do you know what I mean? I started, and it started getting me head and I thought, what the fuck? You know, but I was still resisting it, guys. I was still thinking to myself, this is in the run-up to the game, right? Even on match day, I was like, hang on a fucking minute. 
You know, we, we play some good football. Yes, we're not very good defensively, but we've got better, right? Obviously, obvs, right? But I'm still a bit squeaky bum about the defence, you know, like and I put a tweet out a few days ago, I said, you know, when, when it came out about routine news and stuff like that, the expected line up, I said, well, if I was Pep Guardiola, uh, I'd be saying target Lovren and fucking, what is it, Carriers, you know, because I'm still, I'm still waiting for Carriers to fuck up, but I'm so chuffed with it, but I don't want to tempt fate, do you know what I mean, by saying, oh, isn't he great now and all that, so let, I just rather, I'm ignoring that, guys. Don't ever think, if a player plays really well and I don't like big him up, that it's because I, I don't want to say good things about them after they've been bad. It's very easy to be like, oh, he's shit, he's shit, he's shit, he's shit. I said shit that many times and this video won't get monetized by YouTube. That means I make fuck all for a living. Do you know that, guys? Eh? If I don't swear in my videos on YouTube, I could make some fucking money out of this shit. But because I'm passionate, yeah, because I'm passionate, and because I'm here for the right fucking reasons, right? I don't know what I'm talking about, I forgot already. Anyway, you can't fucking swear on YouTube, that's what... You can't fucking swear on YouTube. <laughs> well, you can, but if you swear it, they tell you off, you get a little thing saying your video is not eligible and all that for advertisers, because they might not like it. Well, I don't give a fuck anyway, I might not like you, you cunt, just think you can stick fucking adverts on my videos and do what you fucking want. Get fucked. My people at DKB.TV support me on my members' website. That's all I fucking need. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Look, I'm here because I like making fucking videos, right? If it was all about the Wonga, I'd be at DKB.TV every day at fucking week, wouldn't I? No, I try to balance it. They say, YouTube, oh, for maximum retention, make videos three minutes long. Three minutes fucking long? I can do a lot in three minutes, I'm fucking telling you guys. All right, you know what I'm saying there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, man. Run upstairs and make love to me. Fuck off, I can only do one. <laughs> anyway, so, um, that's true to say, you know, don't do videos longer than three minutes. Fuck off, man, I'm not here for all that. Poncing around, fucking. Who's that twat on the air? Uh... Uh, Logan, is it something? I don't fucking know. I tell you what, though, I wish I had all them subscribers. Oh, God, I'd be fucking... I wouldn't be swearing then with all that money. Anyway, let's stick to the fucking football. So, going into that game, right, I was like... I was starting to think, oh, fucking hell, you know. Oh, my daughter's messaged me. She, she sent me some message, a message over weeks and there's been a crash on the road, big crash. She's just following me now. Remember that crash last week? It was a lad we used to go to judo with Robert. Oh, it's our group chat. Right, I'll be back in a minute, I'll be back in a minute. Because they're talking about someone that's cracked, wrapped up in an accident. So I don't want depressing. I'm in a good fucking mood. Even though I am going to be a, an officially specky for eyed fat cunt. Um, <clears throat> they made me nervous going into that game. And I started having doubts. And, you know, and, and I was being a bit hesitant at that. I mean, then I started resisting it. And I was like, no, no, no. We can fucking do it. We can fucking do it. We can fucking, fucking, fucking do it. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I thought, guys. That's what I thought. And then, then right, so I was really sure. When we scored the first goal in that game, I absolutely screamed this fucking house down, right? Louder than when I opened the bread bin and there's no bread bin in it. No bread in the bed bin. You know what I'm fucking trying to say, don't you? At least someone does. You know when you want a sandwich and you go to make something and there's no bread in? Yeah? Oh, fuck it. What are you... What, how annoying is that? You go, ah, do you know what? I think I'll have a cheese sandwich. You go to bread bin all fucking exciting and that frothing at the fucking mouth, yeah? You take the lid off, you put your hand in and there's two crusts left in fucking thing. How fucking annoying is that? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, that's how loud I fucking screamed when that first goal went in, guys. I went mental. And do you know something now? Like, these days, right, I don't get excited when Liverpool score. I just go, ah, mm, nice one. It's old age for you, see. Grey hair. Grey fucking hair. Grey beard, look, grey stubble, you know what I'm saying, yeah? Proper glasses coming soon, yeah, that I've got to wear all the time. Hey, do you want to see them? No, I'm not going to show I won't show you them now. But, you know, you'll see them soon anyway. I'm getting a pair like what Ronnie and Reggie Cray used to wear, because I think they look fucking mint, you know, like real menacing and that. Yeah. God, I'm hyper. You'd think I'd done a line of fucking coke or something. I've never done drugs in my life, me, man. It's bad enough swallowing an aspirin. I can't have a fucking on it. Well, there's, a, there's an advantage to taking an aspirin, like it does increase you three minutes. But you, you know what I mean? If you do go over them three minutes, when you're a big lad like me, you need to you need to you need to bang an aspirin down just in case. You're a little ticker and that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Man City, yeah. Let me know what you thought of the game, guys. I'm hyper, aren't I? I'm fucking well hyped. Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, but you know what? We're now on to Merseyside Derby, aren't we? Oh, I want to talk about them toilet heads that attacked the bus as well. I'm going to do that in another video. I'll leave that for the next vid. But you know what? You know, clock goes on about the, uh, you know, like, you know, we're playing the next game. He's made a lot of excuses ahead of this game, hasn't he? The Everton game. And I was wondering, you know, what you thought about uh, the, um, the last... Do you know what? I'm going to do that in another video as well. I'm going to talk about Everton and Liverpool... Uh, in the next video or the next one after I'm doing free vids yeah for you guys because I'm super 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 fucking nice like that all right right um right yeah I'm off tell, let me know what all you think about the Man City thing I'll tell you one thing I will say though guys at the end of it the full 90 minutes I work prancing around like that like I wouldn't fucking need not know because I probably have an heart attack but what I mean is you know it's just like it's our fucking time isn't it and that's what I like about Klopp now, you know when a manager says over a two-legged tie, and after the first tie, he always goes, well, you know, it's only half time now, right? But then they progress to waffle on about how good they did in the first half of the, the game, the first leg. I like that with Klopp. He came out overnight, didn't he? And he said, uh, he said well, it's only half time, and uh, that's it. There's nothing to add. And I, I thought, that's it. That's great. He wanted to go. You've got obligations, haven't they? They've got obligations. They're going to do all these fucking interviews and all that for us peasants, right? But the reality is, guys, he didn't want to talk about it, did he? He wanted to go, no, that's it, you know. I mean, yeah, you want to be, like, celebrating a fucking, you know, decent victory like that. I get that, yeah, yeah. You know, well done, fucking, woo, yay, yay, and all that, yeah. But anything can fucking happen in next game, and you know that. That's why I like it, because he just went, no, it's, it's half time, and that's it. There's nothing to say, really. I thought that was fucking good. Maybe you didn't see that interview, because there's that many bastards these days, isn't there? Right, I'm off. <laughs> Do you know what? I miss talking to you guys. It's part of my therapy, you know. Honestly, it's part of my therapy. It's part of my day. Mm. Mm. All right, then. Right, I'm off. I'm off. I love you, and I'll leave you, and I'll speak to you real soon. All right.